as let me make sure this is up. Can everybody hear me? Um, okay, all right, good. Um, I guess it's just my volume that was down. So as you as you come to sit up straight and tall, uh, let's start to explore what it means to feel free. And so let's start with the body. As you find a comfortable place to be, um, where you uh, feel centered and grounded and the body is self-supporting, what does it mean to feel free in your body? Can you access any part of you right now that feels free? And what does that mean? You know, for me, for me, freedom means the capacity to have choice in my body where I can, I can have the capacity to move in various ways that I'm not limited um, in my movement, but it also could mean a, a sense feeling, you know, where there's uh, a sense of ease and spaciousness in your body. Might be for you, it means having a sense of self sovereignty or um, autonomy over yourself. So just sit inside any place within you that has a sense of freedom. Let's move into the breath. What does it feel like when you feel free in your breath? What are the qualities of a free breath? Does it flow easily? Once again, is there a sense of choice and autonomy, agency? Is there a sense of spaciousness where there's nothing binding your breath? Do you have freedom in both the inhale and the exhale and also the pauses? So pay attention. in your body or in your breath, if you're noticing places that are bound or that are kind of outside of the sense of self choice or control, maybe this can be part of what you work with in your practice where you strive toward more freedom. And then we won't spend too much time because this is a much more thorny nest, but freedom in the mind. So come in to the center of your brain. Let's find it physically for a moment and see if you can relax the skull bones. Feel the brain kind of drop away from the skull. And of course, the brain is not um, the same as your mind or your consciousness, but it is the seat of where we often perceive our thoughts, so let's rest there. And then just notice, you know, what has been on your mind this morning? Do you have a sense of agency over the thought processes? There's so much that is just below our consciousness, our subconscious, and then our unconscious. And how do we cultivate freedom in these deeper layers? Maybe let's just start with the surface. Can you relax and create a little bit of spaciousness? Give your mind a task to pay attention to like the breath or the body, sensations. Let the body and breath tether you to the present moment, which is a sense of spaciousness for the mind. When we're here, we rest, our mind rests. And 
as you practice today, see if you can pay attention to patterns that are habitual and unconscious in the body and in the mind. And if we can uncover some of these um, deeply trenched paths uh, that we can slip into, maybe we can have some autonomy about choice. Place the palms together at the heart and bow into your practice. Create an intention. Just the simple act of intending is a act of choice, which is an element of freedom. And let's release the hands and find our way to our mat. So as, as you lie down, um, let's remember to try to experience as much of this sense of spaciousness, presence, and choice um, in our breath, in our body, and in our mind as we practice. So let these be kind of a focal point as you move through your practice today. So stretch your arms. And part of that means that whatever I suggest, it's just that it's a suggestion. It's not a, um, it's not a requirement. It's just a suggestion. So um, take ownership over your practice. Maybe you want to do something completely different than what I'm offering. And that's great. And this is one of the main, um, one of the many gifts of practicing at your home is that um, you don't have to worry about what the person next to you is doing or disrupting um, a flow of class. You get to be you and do you. All right, let's draw the knees into the chest and rock a little bit, swaying from side to side. Okay, let's circle the knees. Breathing well. Let's circle the knees in a different direction. And then when you're ready, let's open the knees away from the midline and bring them back in. So just feeling that sense of where your range of motion is at. Now, even if you have limited range of motion in any joint in your body or many joints in your body, that doesn't mean that your freedom has gone away. So let's, let's see if we can feel spacious in whatever capacity we have in this moment. So um, lean into the space instead of uh, leaning into the restriction. Right knee into the chest, left leg comes long on the ground and feel free to move your ankles about. Part of having a sense of autonomy in your practice is <clears throat> respecting your boundaries. Um, this is an element of freedom as well, um, that the body has choice, the mind body has choice and that the mind um, doesn't have to override the body. All right, let's go ahead and change sides. Left knee in, right leg comes long. Wiggle your toes and uh, move your ankles. Just get some freedom going in your feet. Lots of space, especially if your feet um, usually get bound up in snug up shoes. Let's give them room to breathe. And um, bring your knee back in, two knees to your chest. Pick up your head, take a deep breath. And as you exhale, squeeze. Squeeze your face, squeeze your core, your chest, your leg, and then relax that. Put your head down and spread your limbs wide on the ground. A big open breath, wiggle your fingers and your toes, reach out to the edges of you, know where your physical body ends, and then exhale and draw it in. Inhale out wide. This time let's hold and squeeze. So take a deep breath in. Hold your breath and squeeze everything you can find in your body to squeeze and then relax. Melt your knees back toward your chest. Keep your head on the ground and let's find happy baby pose. So hold the knees or hold behind, uh, I'm sorry, the bottom of the feet are behind the knees and feel free to rock a little bit, swaying from side to side. 
Don't let this go too deeply in the very beginning of our practice. We want to treat our spine with respect. And then we're going to open up the left leg. So stretch the left leg as straight as you can get it out to the side, letting in the inner thigh open up a little bit. Breathing well here. And then bring that knee back to a bend and take your other leg and stretch it out straight. And it's okay if you can't get straight, just go wherever your body is available. Let your head rest on the ground. Find your breath. And let's come back to center. Try rocking a little bit to and fro. And then we're going to cross your right thigh over your left thigh and draw the knees in toward the chest. You can hold your knees or your shins or your feet or wherever you want to hold. Just letting the outer, um, the glutes and the hips open up just a little bit. Keep the head resting on the ground. Let your shoulders relax. And then we're going to pick your legs straight up in the air, point and flex your toes here for a moment. So a little bit of core engagement. If you want more engagement of your core, you can bring your arms overhead. Try a little flexing and pointing of the feet. Stabilize your spine with your core. And then we're going to cross the left knee over the right and bring your knees toward your chest. Feel a little stretch in your hip. Drop the tailbone, wide sit bones, let the head rest on the ground. Breathing well. So maybe you have some other ideas of freedom, feel free to share. But can you um, seek the sense of spaciousness, the sense of choice, the sense of presence? Let all these things help you to uh, feel that you have a sense of autonomy and the agency over your mind and body or within your mind and body. Lift your legs straight up in the air again. One more time, a flex and point. And now we're gonna take our feet hip width apart and roll your ankles while you're up there. Start to feel your core. And now we're gonna bring our legs wider. So out like a V, okay? Now, if you feel safe in your spine doing so, Reach your arms overhead. And just feel into the strength that's in your spine and core. And then we're going to bring our hands through our legs. Take a deep breath as you exhale. Lift up your shoulders and your head. And then inhale. Put it back down. Exhale. A little bit of core. Inhale. Back down one last time. Head back down, knees into your chest. Rock a little bit, swaying from side to side. Put your feet on the ground, arms out like a T. Feet can be as wide as your mat if you want them that wide, and just windshield wiper your knees. Just waking up the side of the body a little bit, feeling your hips. Stretch into a star one more time. A big, wide, full breath in. Exhale, knees into your chest, round your spine. And then let's come rolling over onto our side and come up onto your hands and your knees. Okay, let's, once we get settled and stable, let's start to move through some cat cows, arching and rounding the spine, taking your time to move your vertebrae. And once again, you do not have to just be stuck in one little movement pattern. Let your spine be free. Okay, so any movement that feels good. And remember that the spine does not live in isolation, but it lives within the context of the rest of your skeleton, the rest of your, all of you, not just your bones, but feel specifically for the bones. So as you start to move around, see if you can find the connections of how your pelvis and your sacrum um, find each other, how your ribs and your spine find each other, how your sense of your shoulder blades, your collarbones and your sternum, even though they are not directly attached to the spine, how they relate with the spine. 
And then finally, the head. Can you feel how the spine and the head are deeply connected? So any movement that helps you explore all the sense of space, spaciousness and the sense of freedom of movement. Okay, look at what your spine can do. So just revel for a moment in all the cool ways that you are able to move. And then drop back, hips toward heels. Uh, walk the hands forward, let the head relax. See if you can soften the skull. Let there be ease. Feel a sense of ease across the base of your skull. And feel free to rock a little bit left and right. Just feel that sense of fluidity in the body. Bring your breath into that fluidity. And then we're going to walk the hands over to the right side of the mat and open up the left ribs and the whole rim of the body. Have a beautiful breath. Keep relaxing the base of the skull. You bring your hands over to the other side. You know, and for some of us, stillness creates a sense of freedom. For some of us, movement, having some subtle rocking or swaying inside postures gives us a better sense of freedom in our body. So let your practice be very experimental. You do not have to be rigid in thinking that there's only one way to do something. Um, rely on your wisdom of your practice, knowing how to protect yourself, stabilize yourself so that you can have um, some of that improv go on inside your own body. Curl the toes under and then settle back toward the heels. Um, you can just go as far as you want to go towards child's pose and let the Achilles and the bottom of the feet open up a little bit. Come back forward. And then one more time, hips back toward the feet. Just opening up the bottom of the feet. And then come back onto all fours and smack your feet on the ground if it feels nice to do so. Let's find our twist. We often do reach the arm up, take a breath and slide that shoulder down. Remember the places where your spine and your rib cage meet. See if you can access those joint spaces and bring some breath there. Keep melting the neck and the head. Notice if you have little creepy spots, not creepy spots, spots that tension creeps into um, in the body. You know, if you notice any habitual place where your body likes to harbor tension, go there frequently and offer ease, offer freedom. Reach that arm back up. Hand comes down onto the ground, change sides. Arm lifting, open the chest, bring that arm through, rest your skull. Let your eyes melt a bit, drop the shoulders away from the ears, feel into the freedom of your breath. Once again, those ribs and where they meet the spine, see if you can access those joints, give some space, keep the head heavy. And then reach that arm back up, to the sky, hand down onto the ground and find your way up off the ground to dog pose. Yielding is yet another aspect of freedom. The more we have the capacity to yield and reach, we, we lose um, the feeling of being stuck in the body. We receive. So let yourself give to the earth and let the earth give back to you. Unlock your joints. So that could mean your elbow joints, your knee joints, could mean the bones in your hands. Let your head be melty and soft. Give space to the brain. Give freedom to the breath. Remember, you can move in any little ways, big ways. The body does not have to be stuck. We have fluidity motion available to us and we have creativity available to us so let your body be Im improvisational in your practice there's nothing that is required walk your feet forward and come into uttanasana maybe you feel like floating around in your head or your hips breathing well let your knees bend as much as you want to 
relax. Have some blocks if you like to put your hands on them. Come to a halfway lift and stretch long. Let the backs of the knees open, let the sit bones spread open the bones of the feet, spacious spine. And then exhale and melt again. Let the head soften. Feel the hamstrings open one more time. A halfway lift. The spine is spacious. And then exhale and relax. Take your feet wider than the mat. So you might want to turn sideways on the mat. And your hands may be on blocks, but they also might be on the ground. And just feel that width of the inner thighs opening up a little bit. Halfway lift here, so hands on blocks or on the ground, long spine, thigh bones move back, shin bones a little bit forward, so we unlock the knees. Try not to slam the knees back. Any joint in your body right now that feels locked, try your hands, your elbows, your neck. See if you can feel a sense of yield and spaciousness. When you're ready, we're going to drop some weight down into our right foot and bend your right knee, your right hip flexes. Open up to wherever your body can go. If it's comfortable, lift your left arm up in the air. Find your breath. And bring that hand back down onto the ground. We're going to slide over to the other side and feel into whatever range of motion we have available in our knee and in our hip. So you may not be this low on the ground, and that's okay. Just go where your range allows. Notice your um, right leg, your knee. See if you can not just lock it down toward the floor. Have a little bit of integrity as you reach into that leg. The spine is spacious. Lift your arm if it's comfortable. Open up into a bit of a side stretch. Full inhales and exhales. And then come back to center and take that wide-legged stance again. We're gonna turn our toes out a little bit, come to a very wide squat, press your elbows or forearms inside your knees and open up the inner thighs here. Feel free to rock a little bit, swaying from one side to the other. If you have a joint that needs um, support, protection, make sure you're um, modifying your postures to be protective and supportive, while also finding the amount of space and freedom that you can. Breathe well, shoulders melting, relax your head, even your palms, give them a good shake, your wrists a good shake, let your hands relax, spread open the feet and press into the earth. Okay, rise all the way up, arms coming to the sky, a big open breath. Trace down through the center line of the body, our legs are still wide, open the breath. Inhale, big open arms, lift to the sky. Exhale, goddess pose, hands to the center. Let's rock a little bit left and right. Now remember, you can be up high. You do not have to be super low in this pose. Be where your body has a sense of breath and grounding where you can be self-supporting without leaning over. Feel the legs. So while we're here, spread open the feet, spin your feet so the toes turn out, the heels turn in. Wake up a lot of muscles when you're ready. Hand, right hand on your knee, left arm lifting to the sky. Come back to center, change sides. Breathe as you're here. All right, one more time, back to a goddess. Open the breath, ground through the feet, lift the crown. And then rise all the way up, big open star. We're gonna spin back to the front of our mat for a dog pose. All right, so now that our legs are not so wide apart, see if you can feel the comfort of the grounding of our feet, hip width apart. It's a very neutral place for our legs to be. Enjoy this. A deep inhale, a deep exhale. Come forward into a plank. Hold yourself steady. Shoulders away from the ears. Breathing well. Find that sturdiness in your center body. Okay. And find your way down 
to the ground. Roll the shoulders a few times here. Finding that breath. Inhale, come up to a cobra. Elbows stay bent. Exhale, coming back down. One more time, shoulder blades down. Keep the elbows bent. Try not to straighten the arms. Keep them bent. Melt again. This time, no hands. So take the hands off the ground, shoulders away from the ears. Feel the work in the back body. Share that work with your core. Breathing well. All right, melt to the ground. Come up onto all fours. And once again, feel all that freedom of movement. Wag your tail, do some circles, move your shoulders about, move your head about. And then sink back towards child's pose. Deep compression in the hip joints. Relax your skull. Come up on tall fours and find dog pose. Let's lift the right leg up in the air and stack up your hip over the other. So there's a lot of spaciousness. Feel free to lift underneath the left armpit so you're not collapsing. Feel free to bend your right knee or keep it straight. A big breath. Square up the hips. Inhale, knee to nose. Round in just a little bit. All right, bring it back out. I meant to say exhale, so we're gonna do it one more time, but do it on the exhale. Knee to chest on the exhale. Plank pose with your arms. Inhale, bring it back. Now let's bring your foot forward. Come to a lunge. Extend through the spine. Open your chest. And let's start to move, straightening and bending the knee. Enjoying, maybe you feel a little bit more open because we've already done some other things. Find your way up to crescent lunge. Bring the arms up to the sky, a big open heart, maybe some cactus arms or maybe arms out or anywhere that you feel a sense of space and freedom in the body. Release the hands down, back foot comes forward, fold. A halfway lift, spine is spacious and long. Exhale and melt. Neck is soft, step your right foot back, left foot is forward to a lunge. Chest is broad and open. Find your breathing and start moving, straightening and bending the front knee. Bring yourself into the sensations of the body. It's such a beautiful thing to be in the present moment. Discover any bit of freedom that you have in your joint spaces, in the way you're thinking as you practice, in the way you're breathing as you practice, the choices that you're making. Round your legs, rise up and bring your arms where you feel most free. Okay, so open your body up, soften something, give yourself over to the beautiful breath. Bring the hands down onto the ground, that leg lifts high in the sky. Exhale, knee to your chest. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, knee to your chest. Bring it back up there. Stack open your hip if it's available. You can bend your knee or straighten your leg, whatever feels really good. Notice the right arm. If you're collapsing, see if you can lift under that armpit a bit. And then release your foot down onto the ground. Take your legs wider on the mat, turn your toes in, inner thighs moving back. Okay, come forward into a plank just like this. Wide legs, shoulders away from the ears. 
Find that sense of breath. And we're gonna put our knees down onto the ground and find the floor. Any back bend you want, find your way into some spacious open hearts. And then exhale and relax. Come up on all fours. And once again, just feel into the movement of your spine. Whatever feels good. Choose how you want to get to standing. It could be through dog pose and then walk your feet forward, or maybe you just feel like standing up. So however you get there, take your time. We're all going to meet standing. So lift your arms, a big open breath. Cactus open your chest and then release your hands down. Give your hands a good old shake. Okay, we're gonna just do a little shaking in the body. So shake your hands, feel your wrists and your fingers just loosen. Move that up to your elbows, into your shoulders. Let everything just be as loose and free. Wiggle your body a little bit. Make sure your head is in that wiggle. Wiggle your hips. All right, shake your legs. All right, so just let your body be as loose and free as you can. And then if you wanna shake, you can bounce. Let your breath move. So anything that feels good, you can lift up one foot. If you want, just let your body be jiggly and loose. Find your way into stillness. So enjoy what that just offered you. Bring yourself into the breath. Let's feel our way into the grounding of our body. So the feet, imagine that your diaphragm is breathing in your feet. Like imagine that you actually had to move the bottom of your feet to breathe. Unlock your knees, unlock your belly and your pelvic floor, unlock your ribs and your diaphragm, unlock your neck and your shoulders, unlock your tongue and your jaw, unlock your eyes and your skull, unlock your hands. I notice you didn't fall apart. You know, when we, when we brought a little attention to ease in our joints, we did not fall down. So the body's always looking for efficiency, the minimal effort required to hold yourself in place. Let the earth support you. Imagine that you have roots. I come into tree pose when you're ready. Let the right foot move into the earth. Our left leg's gonna come up. You decide where you want your foot to be. It can be close to the ground or up high toward your pelvis or anywhere in between. Just try not to let your heel dive into your inner knee. Try to keep your pelvis stable. Your hip is in, your thigh is back. So as you start to find the need for more effort to stabilize you, can you still experience the looseness, the freedom of when we were jiggling ourselves about? Bring your arms anywhere that serves the posture, your breath, your sense of freedom and stability. Marry the efforts to the ease. Marry the sense of stability and freedom in your body. It's okay if you get wobbly, that's okay. Lower your foot down. Enjoy your con your two points of contact. You can shake your legs a little bit. Shake again. It feels good. Okay. And then ground yourself. Root your roots. Feel your yielding. When you're ready, we'll come to the other side, standing on your left foot. Try not to let your hip sag out. Hug it in. Unlock your knee, but take your thigh bone back. Crown right over pelvis. Bring your arms anywhere that serves. 
can you balance the need for stability? So the support that's required, your core, your hips, but can you balance it with the sense of freedom, open heart, soft mind and skull? Just relax and laying that foot on the ground. Notice if your breath got stuck, bring your awareness, maybe a little bit of fluidity, a little bit of rocking or shaking or jiggling. And then bring yourself into the open, beautiful breath. What part of your body do you guard and, and bind? You know, find a spot that you know that you tend to hold tension in. Maybe it's your belly, maybe it's your neck, maybe it's your eyes. It could be anywhere. Just see what you can find to, to let things go and rely on the earth to support you. So melt your knees a little bit. A little bit of core does not mean that your diaphragm have to grip, has to grip. You don't have to suck it all in to stabilize yourself. Just find the necessary elements of support. Okay, when we're ready, we're gonna step wide on your mat. Okay, find your breath, turn your right foot out, Parzval Konasana, elbow on your knee, stretch your arm overhead, unless you'd rather keep your arm down. So just find what's well, working well for your joint spaces. Root into the legs as best as you can. Feel that you're grounded. Of course, there's effort. There's work in the legs. There's work in the hips. There's work in the core. But see if you can find the sense that the earth is really doing the work for you. The more you drop in, the more you receive and can find that spaciousness in your body. Breathing well. Okay, keep your legs where they are and reverse. Find a sense of reaching through that opposite side, your right side body, and straighten your leg and find triangle pose. A big open breath, stability and ease. See what it feels like to have the effort and the ease, the stability and the freedom all finding their way together. Part of freedom is stability. If you don't feel stable, you're not going to feel at ease. Okay? If you don't feel the support around you, below you, within you, you're not going to let yourself go and find that sense of spaciousness. So the two rely on each other. Find your way. You can bring your block to the other side. Let's start with Parsvokanasana. Bend your knee. Elbow can come on your knee, or perhaps your hand is on the block. Your arm can, your left right arm can stay on your leg, or you can lift it overhead, or you can even bring it out to the side. Hand on your hip. These are the ways in which you treat your body with respect. So what is it that you need? Shoulder blades down, the chest broadens, round into your legs, give to the earth, let the earth give back. So where is the yielding? Part of yielding is the, the ability to have energy move through joint spaces. So try it, lock out your back knee, and then just notice if anything from the earth kind of finds its way through your spine. And then unlock the knee a little bit root into your foot, push off, and feel that you can find some energy moving through your body. How is your breath? All right, keep your legs, reverse your warrior, open up through the side of your body, enjoy the side body length and space. And then straighten your leg, and find your way into triangle pose. Open chest, shoulders soft away from the ears, feel the grounding. Enjoy your breathing. And unlock your knees, give to the earth, let the earth give back. Come back up, 
Turn your feet slightly out one more time into a goddess. Bring your arms here. We're going to move through this. So inhale, big open space. Take the energy above you, drop it right down into you. One more time. Maybe two more times. Let's see. And feel that energy drop down toward the earth. Stay in your goddess. Ground through your legs. Evenness. Root the feet well. Soft shoulders. And then straighten your legs. Turn your feet forward. Bring your hands down onto the blocks or ground. And you can have your arms out in front of you like dog pose. Hands under your chest. You can have your hands in line with your feet. So just find the way that works. One more time, dropping into your right foot, stretching, opening, stretching and opening your leg. This time, if two hands can come up, two hands. If you can't balance that way, keep your hands down. Now just see, this may not be available. See if you can transfer over to the other side without your arms. If that's not available, don't do it. Soft shoulders. And if you need to put your hands down, put your hands down. If you can do it without your hands, back up. One more breath here. Exhale, energy down. Last goddess. Ground into your feet. Open your chest. Find freedom in your upper body. Find freedom in your lower body. Give to the earth. Stand up straight and spin back to the front of your mat. Last dog pose. Extend through your spine. A full breath in. A full breath out. Come forward into a plank. Stabilize your body. A deep inhale, a full exhale. Put your knees on the ground if you need that support to come down. Arms out in front of you if this butt is allowed in your body. You should make a different choice if it doesn't work for you. Lift your legs up and spread them wider apart. And then lift everything up. Arms, legs, chest, neck is long. Full breaths, feel your glutes evenly. And then exhale and melt. Come up on tall fours and let your hips and your spine, everything becomes free. And drop back towards child's pose. Soften here. Full inhale, a full exhale. Okay, let's come on to our back. Bring your knees to your chest. Rock a bit. Melt your head, heavy, heavy. Right thigh over left thigh like we did in the beginning. Knees towards your chest. Heavy, heavy head. Full, full breath. Change sides, left thigh over right thigh. Draw the knees in. Release that, another happy baby pose. Rock a little bit, side to side if you want. All right, release your feet down. Lift your hips, scoot them right, knees up, drop them left, twisting and breathing. 
twisting and breathing. Melt your head. Back to center. Scoot your hips the other way. Knees come up and drop them to the side. Turn your head. Relax. Come back up. Grab your two blocks. This is a choice. Stick them under your outer knees. Soup the bottom kanasana. Flat on the ground. Feet together. Knees wide apart. Support underneath your legs with your blocks. If you want to just have a moment of laying flat, this is not our shavasana. We're just resting for a moment in freedom. So if you don't want, if this doesn't feel good in your legs, don't do it. Then your arms come out to the side, spread yourself out like a glass of water that just spilled on the ground. Let your head be heavy. Free up your jaw. Free up your skull. Scan your body for your places, your hit your places that maybe aren't even so hidden that we often Hold tension so you know your spots. Go there and melt. Change anything in your body to give yourself freedom. Experience the beauty of your breath. Change your legs at any moment. Now this is an experiment. Um, you might want to take your legs out of Supta Baddha Konasana. If you're very comfortable, you can stay there. Um, but this is an experiment. Normally when we do a tongue gland, we're sitting. And of course you can go do that. You can sit up right now if that's better for you. But if you really feel like you're more free lying down, then by all means try it here. Um, like I said, the Traditional meditation is sitting up. So if that's the way you want to be, then that's the way you should be. Wherever, make a choice for wherever freedom is going to live in your body best. All right, so also not a traditional tongue lend. Um, we're we're going to skip a few steps. All right, so let's start with self. Loving kindness meditation, we always begin by offering loving kindness to ourself. See if you can breathe in and know the ways in which you're struggling and breathe out and let your body melt with the support of the earth as well as with the support of your own heart. Nurture yourself. Give yourself as much love and compassion as you can uh, allow to stream from your heart space. And we're going to now move normally in the tongue gland meditation. You next move to someone very close to you that you want to support and give your love and um, loving kindness to. And then you move to acquaintances and then maybe to somebody who you're struggling with and then to your community and your country. And, you know, you kind of move outward. But we're going to just go straight out. Okay, so welcome in whatever you're thinking whether it's the people um, who are struggling in Florida right now from Hurricane Ian, 
whether it's people in Ukraine or Russia who are struggling from an oppressive Russian regime, whether it is the people in Iran who are struggling to fight for their freedom, really the whole world is can be and is suffering okay that's part of our human condition that we struggle with oppression with hunger with pain with disease with all these things right so let's open our heart as best as we can feel your sense of freedom remain within your body your mind and your breath keep yourself as open and at ease as you can as you expand your window of tolerance for being able to receive and think about, hold, that move through you the suffering of others. And then release and let it move through you and offer your loving compassion like a river, like a wave, like a stream of wind. Offer your loving compa compassion, your kindness, your offerings of may you be healthy, may you be happy, may you be safe, may you be free, may you be well outward. See if your loving kindness can create a web that can hold the whole world in a state of love. already see if you can return back to self bringing a sense of ease in your body and your mind return to the sensations of the body let the mind rest in the present let the mind rest in your breath Melt into Shavasana now, letting your body find weight and ground. Free up your jaw, your tongue, your inner ears, the base of your skull, the inner walls of your throat. Let your eyes rest. Let the muscles behind and around your eyes rest. Let your head feel heavy. Chest, feel free. Belly, the pelvis, free. Your limbs heavy and grounded. Give yourself to the earth.
chegamos no momento não deve ser cobrado. Não vai te ver mais. Yourself over to a state of freedom and ease. When we feel relaxed and with an open heart as so much as possible. We find our way into bigger movements. Eventually, moving to your side. Coming up to sit as you're ready. Place your hands together. If a person or people touched you earlier, once again, offer your grace, your compassion, your kindness, your love. Namaste. Thank you, everyone.